Rushing or tackling definitely has its rewards, as some of the greats in today's league are living luxurious with multi-million dollar contracts. Throughout recent years, we've quickly seen some of the largest contracts in history take place, so a lot of recent purchases definitely went under your radar, including one home worth as much as $20 million. So who are these mysterious players cashing out and turning their dreams into a new reality? Who scooped up a mansion worth $20 million? And what purchases have you been missing out on? Like the video, subscribe, and let's get right into it. Adrian Peterson at one point in time was becoming a household name at the beginning of his career by constantly setting unbelievable records. Adrian Peterson was legendary with the Minnesota Vikings early on, but due to injuries and controversy holding his career potentially back. He recently signed a one-year deal with the Washington Redskins for just over a million dollars. But now, the Redskins rusher has something special of his own and it clocked in at 6.7 million. The soon to be Hall of Famer has a crazy home in the Woodlands, Texas. This ridiculous home has six bedrooms, 10 and a half bathrooms, two outdoor kitchens, a game room, and even a full indoor pool. But even though this crib is such a nice interior, the crazy high selling point comes from a huge nine acre land that the house sits on. Now Aaron Rodgers has done ridiculous things since taking the starting role in Green Bay. A Super Bowl win with the Super Bowl MVP was just the beginning. Shortly before getting the biggest contract for any QB ever at $130 million over four years, Rodgers bought a $2 million home in Del Mar, California with absolutely stunning views of the hills and it includes a massive pool in the courtyard. Now Rodgers was claimed as the only NFL star with a full-size regulation football field on his property not to mention the full-size game room and spa in the lower level as well. Now, Reggie Bush may not be as relevant as his legendary college days at USC, but since being drafted second overall in the first round by the Saints in 2006, Reggie was named All-Pro in 2008, won a Super Bowl back in 2010, and is falling into great deals of money ever since. Reggie has a net worth of approximately $14 million. Reggie recently bought a home in LA with a breathtaking view of the city worth $5.7 million. This crib has a bunch of crazy amenities, but to name a few, we have an in-house elevator and a state-of-the-art movie theater. That's what's included. With Tom Brady being arguably the greatest quarterback in NFL history up to this point in his career, having one of the most expensive mansions in the entire league should come as absolutely no surprise to anybody. After playing college ball in Michigan, surprisingly still available, the Patriots selected Tom as the 199th pick in the sixth round of the 2000 NFL Draft. And for that reason alone, Tom Brady's been considered the biggest steal in NFL Draft history. Tom is on track to make roughly $15 million this year off his NFL contract alone, but Brady and his supermodel wife Giselle at one point bought a pad worth nearly $5 million in Chestnut Hill, Boston, Massachusetts. The luxurious home sits on 5.2 acres of land and includes five bedrooms, four bathrooms, a spa, a wine cellar, and even a library. The New England Patriots quarterback has an approximate net worth of $44 million, putting him in the top 15 highest paid athletes in the entire world. With him and his wife Giselle having a combined net worth of around $90 million, this is exactly what they cashed out on on a ridiculous $20 million home that took 20 months to build shortly after selling their California home to the legendary rapper Dr. Dre. They bought an upscale apartment in NYC that actually rented out approximately for $40,000 a month. Le'Veon Bell was drafted in the second round of the 2013 NFL Draft by the Steelers and turned into an instant superstar. Le'Veon bought a lavish crib in Pinkerton, Ohio for nearly $1.5 million. There are many amenities they needed in a crib including a huge pool, a full bar inside and outside, as well as an exotic fish tank. Le'Veon Bell reportedly declined a five-year $70 million contract, which would have given him the largest multi-year contract of any running back in the entire NFL. But he turned it down because it was nowhere near his asking price, which was reportedly around $17 million per season. And that'll wrap up today's video. Make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.